So, tell us why you're here. Why am I here? Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> you invited us, eh? No, hang on, I was going to say, yeah, you invited me. No, I invited you. No, hang on, how did it happen? We forced ourselves upon you. No, I asked to get my bike cleaned, but then this happened. Yeah. Yeah. Somehow it's turned into a full fledged interview. Yeah. You've had a, a technical day in the bay. Yes. Um, getting the bike cleaned. Yes, well, I didn't. No, I did, I was. Tell us a bit about yourself and how the bike passion and love first started. Uh, it first started by watching Orange County Choppers as a younger boy. I always wanted an Orange County Chopper. And to be honest with you, I, I, I rode bikes all my life before I, rode, before I had a car. Um, and I rode a Honda Hornet and I didn't, I was unaware, I thought that Harry Davidson's would always be out of my reach financially. Yeah. And then my brother-in-law said to me, you do realise you can buy a, like a mediocre Harley brand new for sort of seven to nine grand? Yeah. And I was like, well, why haven't I got one? <laughs> and then I got one. But yeah, my passion's always been like cruises, that kind of stuff, and custom bikes. The bike itself is a, a street bike diner, um, but what I've done to it is massive in California, it's called Club Style. But in the UK, well, I think mainly a lot of Europe, it's, it's, a lot, it's a lot rarer in Europe than it is in the States. And then, yeah, the fabrications I've had done on it, I got imported from California. And your man over there told me that there's not many of them in the UK, if not, I just know he said there was one in Germany and none in the UK. It's, it's, it's set up to be more aggressive, more, more for the road, less for cruising, more for, you know. Actual driving. Yeah, it's been, it's been tuned, it's been dyno, so it's looks, it looks mean and it does what it needs to do as well. For people that don't know, you own the smoke pit in Northampton. I do. Which is where we are now, yeah. which is why we've got the sickest backdrop in the world. Anthony Bourdain. Yeah, if you know, if you can see there he is. Tell us about the smoke pit, like how did that come about? What's the... Uh, again, well, I was working as a chef, pretty pissed off with uh, lining other people's pockets and not mm. my own. And uh, especially in the catering world, it's a lot it's a lot more harsh than it is in a lot of other worlds. It's been glorified by the media a lot. People think it's all in Jamie Master Oliver. Chef. Yeah, Master Chef, and they've got their little tweezers out and they're putting their flowers on the plates and everything. They don't see the 7 a.m. starts and the 1 a.m. finishes. And yeah, but it's like detailing. You know, a lot of people see the finished product. Exactly. And they see the waxing, yeah. but they don't see What's the prepping, the cleaning, yeah. yeah. like exactly. behind the wheels, exactly. doing all that exactly. grind work. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly that. So when did the smoke pit start? So this opened before years ago in January. Um, I've got the other one opened, it's not a smoke pit, it's a chop house. Okay. Which is sort of based on a, I think it was like the 1600s, they used to call them chop houses and it was a, they were restaurants that served single servings of meat. So like a pork chop, a lamb chop, oh, wow. a chunk of ham, whatever. Yeah. So it's sort of, but the other one's based on that. But this one, yeah, four years in January. They, um, it, I don't know, but I, I just, I love barbecue anyway, I love anything, I love anything American. Speaking of food, yeah. what's your favourite dish that you serve? On the menu here? On the menu here. Oh, mate. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that's an open question as well. Is that deep? Oh. I just want to ask me what my favourite wax is. Yeah, it's like saying, I don't know, that's like, what's your favourite band, what's your favourite yeah. day of the week? Like, it's just, if I was to recommend anybody anything here, if it was a burger, I'd recommend the Donald Rump, okay. which is made from it's made from uh, dry aged meat, which we dry aged over there. So it's a lot more earthy in flavour. Uh, or the hanger steak, because not many people know what a hanger is. Um, or or the house platter. I mean, I'm, to be fair, I've eaten so many <laughs> house platters now. Like, I don't know I could stomach one. It'd be a little bit like a barber going home and cutting hair, wouldn't it? Yeah. How was it watching somebody else? take over the bike and detail it in the bay for you. 
But if I'm brutally honest, I'm pretty crap at cleaning my bike. Like I'm one of these people that'll just go out, ride it, and put it in the garage, and then when it's when it's got half the cast of a bug's life on the front, I'll give it a wipe over. Yeah. Um, but I don't know, I'm more more of a more of a rider than a polisher. But that's the hence why I've got all the, the black yeah. out bike and not all the chrome and that kind of stuff. I mean, I get it, but... Mark converge you a little bit. So. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> Def well, now I've seen how easy it is, because yeah. that's the thing. It, I've been doing it with these little wipe things that someone gave me, and it's... That, you put that spray on the front with those bugs, and then you're just like... <laughs> gone. Yeah. Gone, and they're shining. Yeah. <laughs> Don't end it on pulling it well. Yes, mate, order it, and we'll cook it, and Let's we'll go. record it. So, Thanks, man. No worries. Because they're out the back, so we're doing it. So that's the. Are you recording or just pictures? Yeah, no, go for it. So, yeah, this is the uh, smoker. This is imported from Cookshack in Oklahoma. So, it's, not, it's, a, it's a restaurant grade smoker, so it's not like a back garden smoker. You basically put your wood in the bottom, okay. uh, set the temperature, set the time, shut the door, press play. Um, so, they'll be yeah. like. How long they take? About eight hours? Uh, not sure how we're doing, uh, how we're doing them for at the moment. Yeah, they're, they're only baby bags, so it won't be too long. But, yeah, yeah low and slow. Damn, but we don't, we don't put any season on them as we put them in because we season them and stuff after we finish cooking them. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's that's the smoke we've got to. That's sweet. So that's what we're going to be eating today? Or? Well, yeah, I think uh, Dale's just ordered baby backs actually, yeah, so he'll, nice be, one. he'll be eating the last batch. Ribs and wings. Okay, right, dude, uh, don't have one for you, mate. Ma'am? 